Hi there, so this video is going to show you exactly how to achieve your goals and dreams in a very simple but effective way using my smart goal setting process. I have been through that yearly back and forth drama of setting multiple personal and career goals with bullet journals, complicated online tools, multiple notepads, multiple notepads that I never use and all to end up at the end of the year disappointed with barely any progress on the goals that I wanted to achieve. All of that changed however when I stopped being extra and simplified everything. Importantly, I also got rid of the guilt attached to not achieving things in the specific time frame or the form that I wanted and ironically that made me actually achieve more. In fact, the things that I did accomplish were way, way, way better than anything that I'd planned for and I'll explain more about how that happened shortly. So why even bother with setting goals in the first place? In my view, setting goals is the first step in making your ambitions a reality. I find goals motivating because they give purpose to my hard work, they inspire me to make a plan and they also help me beat procrastination but only if I set the right goals at the outset. If you have too many goals or you don't define them properly, it's so easy to get overwhelmed, discouraged and fall off track. And that's why smart goal setting is crucial. As Pablo Picasso said, our goals can only be reached through a vehicle of a plan in which we must fervently believe and upon which we must vigorously act. So let's discuss how to set goals and actually achieve them in the simplest and most effective way. The first thing to know is that simplicity is key. It is so important for you to keep things simple because complexity equals procrastination. I saw this formula on Reddit and it immediately resonated with me because if something is way too complicated, I just won't do it. And it's why I hate doing things like tracking calories, weighing food, because food is just too delicious to be micromanaged. It needs to be free to sit in my belly. And now what I do is that if I have a fitness goal, I will have better results by just setting a simple goal to do something like walk 10,000 steps every day. Or as my personal trainer said, see food and close your eyes. So instead of making things too extra, I like to follow the keep it simple method of smart goal setting, AKA keep it simple, stupid. This is a design principle that originated in the States around the 1960s and it says that most systems work best if they're kept simple rather than made complicated. So instead of a journal full of goals across every single category of my life, I just simplify my goals into no more than four simple buckets. So if I'm doing my annual planning at the start of the year, it would look something like a bucket for my career, a bucket for my finances, another for my wellness and another for my relationships. After setting those broad categories, the next step is to be specific. I pick one or two things that I want to achieve for each category and I make sure that they're descriptive enough to be measurable. For example, for my finances, one of my goals is to make a million dollars across all of my income streams, including my salary. And a career goal that I've had is to deploy a key tech project for one of my biggest clients by the end of April. And the reason why that's a specific goal is because the deadline is May and I want to make sure I over deliver by doing it by April. And this is very important. It's crucial for you to define find your goals properly because you won't achieve them if they're too broad. After all, there's no target, so there's really nothing for you to properly aim for. So instead of saying something like, I want to be richer, you'll see that I've set a specific amount that I want to achieve in the relevant time frame. If you're not sure that your goals are specific enough, then the SMART system is for you. You have to ask yourself, does this sound specific? Can I measure it? Is it actually achievable? Is it relevant to me? Really, is this something that I want or am I just doing it because I see everyone else doing it? And lastly, is it time bound? I totally get it that some goals are not hard goals that can be tracked with numbers. For example, mental well-being goals. And in those cases, I try my best to still use the SMART method. So for me, another one of my personal goals this year is to be a little bit less anxious. So I kind of flipped that on its head to cultivate calm which is what I want, by meditating for 15 minutes every day. I have so many things going on in my life, my hand in so many different pockets, and it can lead to me getting a bit overwhelmed by trying to make sure that I please everybody, and that's why I am so firm on protecting my boundaries. But what works for me and has worked in the past is meditation, and that's why I try and build that into my life every single day. The next thing is that don't rely on willpower alone to help you achieve your goals. Man, oh man, this one is a big one, because 
often we start our goal planning cycle usually at the start of the year with the best intentions and then we fall off spectacularly i have been there so instead of relying on motivation and willpower to achieve my goals i like to set myself up to get there i use various tools and structures to make sure that i'm on track i like to break down my goals into monthly weekly and daily increments and for example last year when i was transitioning from law to tech last year or a couple of years ago i knew i didn't want to work full time and i wanted to consult for different types of companies so i set up the following smart routine on a daily basis i would spend half an hour in the morning building my network on LinkedIn and refreshing my existing network with old and new contacts on a weekly basis I would spend three hours again in the morning on Saturday upskilling with courses mornings are the best time for me to be productive I love when things are quiet and I can just focus and then on a monthly basis I will then update my resume my profile with all of the certifications and the experience that I've gathered over the week and over the days because it all adds up right and although this seems simple that's the baseline and it works of course I can add other things to the process but sticking to this helped me navigate my career shift so easily while juggling a busy career in big law and I know that some people like to use tools like Todoist, Evernote or a simple journal to track their goals and that is absolutely fine if it works for you however what worked for me and helped me to stay on top of my career and life goals was to build a custom dashboard using Airtable where I track all of my tasks my documents and my strategies all in one place it's the exact same tool that I share with clients on my career game changer program and they love it it's excellent because it's like a one-stop shop that houses all of my key achievements my resume templates important links key contacts all of those things right so if you're looking to up level this year and you want to make some big leaps in your career click the link in the description box to apply to work with me directly on the career game changer program you'll get your hands on the tool as well as all of the other resources and training that we've built that will help you smash your career goals and this brings me nice Nicely on to the next important step which is that you must get support we can't do things alone no man is an island we've all heard that kind of saying and we know that person I feel like everyone knows that person and it could be you who's had the same goal for so many years but they haven't actually been able to make it happen for some reason and it goes back to what I said earlier you really need more than a wish to achieve your goals you need a plan so if you've tried to lose weight every year but you can't make it happen and you're tired of watching videos on YouTube go and get a personal trainer if you've been trying hard to land a job for years or you keep fluking at interviews and you're not making progress please invest in a career coach if you've been trying to teach yourself how to code for years pay for a boot camp don't be like me who's like that type a person and that's the biggest lesson that I've learned who's like I can figure all of these things out myself because the whole goal setting and achievement process can really be so simple but sometimes we make it too hard for various reasons like ego maybe you have other concerns and personally I spent way too many wasted years trying to figure out how to code on my own but I wasn't successful not because I was stupid clearly not I was working in big law but because I just didn't have the guidance the time or the structure plus it was so far removed from what I was typically qualified in so I needed to just humble myself right and once I invested in myself by getting support things changed for me in just nine weeks and you already know that story so I'm not gonna go into it but if you're curious about how I transitioned from law to tech just click the link in the description box for the details and never ever 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 <laughs> underestimate the power of taking action on your goals no matter how small and also you need to be open to where it will take you because personally when I started my coding bootcamp experience I thought I was going to build this careers travel app that connected expat women and allowed them to build their connections and stuff I had no idea that Rona <laughs> was going to hit but just really taking action putting myself out there allowed me to kind of transform that experience of being in tech and building my own app and using that as leverage to now work as a tech consultant for billion dollar companies like it's crazy how much you can achieve if you set your goals using the SMART method. If you do that just the way I've outlined and you track your progress in regular increments and not just at the end of the year, you'll be surprised at how easy it will be for you to achieve your goals. Dream big, 
dream big but also make sure that you are being realistic now i want you to take your first step towards achieving your goals by sharing a key thing that you want to accomplish in the next quarter in the comments it's time for you to put it out there because i am going to respond and hold you accountable and i also encourage you watching this video to do the same for other people in the comments and let's help support each other look given the state of the economy right now upskilling should be high on everyone's priority list it should be there in your goals so if you're looking to make sure that your career is future proof and that you have skills that will make you very very marketable even if you're not planning on doing career change or changing jobs or anything like that anytime soon watch this video on the two best recession proof career skills and i will see you soon toodles <laughs>